O thou who art the apple of mine eye, my glory, the ocean of my loving kindness, the sun of my bounty, the heaven of my mercy rest upon thee. We pray, God, to illumine the world through thy knowledge and wisdom, to ordain for thee that which will gladden thine heart and impart consolation to thine eyes. We have made thee a shelter for all mankind, a shield unto all who are in heaven and on earth, a stronghold for whosoever hath believed in God, the incomparable, the all-knowing. God, grant that through thee he may protect them, may enrich and sustain them, that he may inspire thee with that which shall be a wellspring of wealth unto all created things, an ocean of bounty unto all men, and the day spring of mercy unto all peoples. There hath branched from the Sadrat of Montaha this sacred and glorious being, this branch of holiness. Well is it with him that hath sought his shelter and abideth beneath his shadow. Verily, the limb of the law of God hath sprung forth from this root which God hath firmly implanted in the ground of his will, and whose branch hath been so uplifted as to encompass the whole of creation. Magnified be he, therefore, for this sublime, this blessed, this mighty, this exalted handiwork. A word hath, as a token of our grace, gone forth from the most great tablet, a word which God hath adorned with the ornament of his own self, and made it sovereign over the earth and all that is therein, and a sign of his greatness and power among its people. Render thanks unto God, O people, for his appearance, for verily, he is the most great favor unto you, the most perfect bounty upon you, and through him every moldering bone is quickened. Whoso turneth towards him hath turned towards God, and whoso turneth away from him hath turned away from my beauty, hath repudiated my proof, and transgress against me. He is the trust of God amongst you, his charge within you, his manifestation unto you and his appearance among his favored servants. We have sent him down in the form of a human temple. Blessed and sanctified be God, who createth whatsoever he willeth through his inviolable, his infallible decree. They who deprive themselves of the shadow of the branch are lost in the wilderness of error, are consumed by the heat of worldly desires, and are of those who will assuredly perish.
Christ, all your souls, and grant you exceeding joy. You heavenly delights, heavenly delights, heavenly delights, heavenly delights. Praise be to him who hath honored the land of Ba through the presence of him round whom all names revolve. All the atoms of the earth have announced unto all created things that from behind the gate of the prison city there hath appeared and above its horizon there hath shone forth the orb of the beauty of the great, the most mighty branch of God his ancient and immutable mystery, proceeding on its way to another land. Sorrow thereby hath enveloped this prison city, whilst another land rejoiceth. Exalted, immeasurably exalted is our Lord, the fashioner of the heavens and the creator of all things. He through whose sovereignty the doors of the prison were opened, thereby causing what was promised aforetime in the tablets to be fulfilled. He is verily potent over what he willeth, and in his grasp is the dominion of the entire creation. He is the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the all-wise. Blessed, doubly blessed, is the ground which his footsteps have trodden, the eye that hath been cheered by the beauty of his countenance, the ear that hath been honored by hearkening to his call, the heart that hath tasted the sweetness of his love, the breast that hath dilated through his remembrance, the pen that hath voiced his praise, the scroll that hath borne the testimony of his writings, we beseech God, blessed and exalted be he, that he may honor us with meeting him soon. He is, in truth, the all-hearing, the all-powerful, he who is ready to answer. والا ای خدای پر عطای زبان من واقف جان و دل اسرار من در سحرها مون 
مثل جانم توی مطلع بر سوز و هرمانم توی هر دلی پیوست با ذکرت دمی جز قم تو می نجوید محرمی خون شود آن دل کبر یانه تو نیست کور به چشمی که گر یانه تو نیست در شبانه تیره و تار قدیر یاد تو در دل چومس با منیر از انایاتت به دل روحی بدم تا ادم گر دهد زلوت به تو قدم در لیاقت منگر و در قد ها بنگرن در فضل خود زولت ها این تویور بالو پر عشق است را از کرم با لو پری سانم از کرم با لو پری سانم O Thou, Lord of wondrous grace, bestow upon us new blessings. Give to us the freshness of the spring. We are saplings which have been planted by the fingers of Thy bounty and have been formed out of the water and clay of Thy tender affection. We thirst for the living waters of Thy favors and are dependent upon the outpourings of the clouds of thy generosity. Abandon not to itself this grove wherein our hopes aspire, nor withhold therefrom the showers of thy loving kindness. Grant that from the clouds of thy mercy may fall copious rain, so that the trees of our lives may bring forth fruit and we may attain the most cherished desire of our hearts. Thou knowest, O my God, that I desire for him naught except that which thou didst desire. 
and have chosen for him no purpose save that which thou hadst intended for him. Render him victorious, therefore, through thy hosts of earth and heaven. Ordain, I beseech thee, by the ardor of my love for thee and my yearning to manifest thy cause. For him, as well as for them that love him, that which thou hast destined for thy messengers and the trustees of thy revelation. Verily, thou art the almighty, the all-powerful.
is God, O peerless Lord. Praised be thou for having kindled that light in the glass of the concourse on high, for having guided that bird of faithfulness to the nest of the Abha kingdom. Thou hast joined that precious river to the mighty sea. Thou hast returned that spreading ray of light to the sun of truth. Thou hast welcomed that captive of remoteness into the garden of reunion. And let him who long to look upon thee to thy presence in thy bright place of lights. Thou art the Lord of tender love. Thou art the last goal of the yearning heart. Thou art the dearest wish of the martyr's soul.
He is the all-glorious. O oh God, my God, lowly and tearful, I raise my suppliant hands to thee and cover my face in the dust of that threshold of thine, exalted above the knowledge of the learned and the praise of all that glorify thee. Graciously look upon thy servant, humble and lowly at thy door, with the glance of the eye of thy mercy, and immerse him in the ocean of thine eternal grace. Lord, he is a poor and lowly servant of thine, enthralled and imploring thee, captive in thy hand, praying fervently to thee, trusting in thee, in tears before thy face, calling to thee and beseeching thee, saying, O Lord my God, Give me thy grace to serve thy loved ones. Strengthen me in my servitude to thee. Illumine my brow with the light of adoration in thy court of holiness and of prayer to thy kingdom of grandeur. Help me to be selfless at the heavenly entrance of thy gate and aid me to be detached from all things within thy holy precincts. Lord, give me to drink from the chalice of selflessness. With its robe, clothe me, and in its ocean, immerse me. Make me as dust in the pathway of thy loved ones and grant that I may offer up my soul for the earth ennobled by the footsteps of thy chosen ones in thy path, O Lord of glory in the highest. With this prayer doth thy servant call thee at dawn tide and in the night season. Fulfill his heart's desire, O Lord, Illumine his heart, gladden his bosom, kindle his light, that he may serve thy cause and thy servants. Thou art the bestower, the pitiful, the most bountiful, the gracious, the merciful, the compassionate. 